Alright, so we're gonna go over two rotator cuff things. There's gonna be one that's kinda of complicated, we're gonna leave for the end. But now we're gonna use um, one for the super spinatus. Super spinatus, infraspinatus is what I meant to say. So we've all seen it basically something like that, right? External rotation. So what I'm gonna have you do is uh I prefer a cable because it's gonna be loaded all the time no matter what direction you're in. Um, I don't wanna take up the the rack, so I'm gonna use a band. Um, but again, if you have a band, go ahead and use that. But if you have access to a cable machine, especially one that does really light weights, so like 5, 10, 15 pounds, uh, that's preferred, right? So you're gonna grab it, you're gonna grab your cable, tuck your elbow, your shoulder, put it back. It can elevate a little bit, that's fine, but put it back here, right? You're gonna Make sure you're like touching your chest to make sure you don't uh, contract too much. Tuck it, tuck the elbow, thumb out, try to point behind you, right? Bam. Bam. Um, the other thing you can do, sometimes you have to hunt around to find the right angle, but I found one thing that helps me uh, get the, excuse me, sensation down, is if you take an object, uh, let's pretend this is a water bottle because the camera's being held by my water bottle. Literally anything small that can go in your arm. Ooh, actually that's pretty good. So if you hold it there, right, it gives you something to squeeze against. Bam. Bam. Now what you don't want to do, so rewind. What we're looking for is external rotation without this contracting and being pulled forward or up or down or anything. You want your scaps to be tight in space, but let your shoulder move, right? See how my scap's not moving too, too much? Now your scap's gonna move, you're um, gonna start abducting or going into flexion or extension, then it's gonna move, that's totally fine. That's not what we're here for. So, your external rotations. You can go up here, you can go up here. If you can find um, an elevated surface, right? You can also do it here, but you wanna go on the scapular plane. So if you're here, point it out like 30 degrees, Roughly there, right? 30 ish degrees. On your uh, surface, grab your cable, and you're going to thumb, point behind you. Let it pull you all the way down, point behind you. Point behind you. Essentially, what we want to do is create this arc. But it's, gonna, it's not just like in one motion, it's actually going to be like a if that makes sense. You're gonna have two arcs go. So it's here, but it's also there. There we go. So, this motion plus this motion. Uh, again, three by 15 to 20. Major pump is the, is the goal. We're not looking for any sort of like strength or anything. We just wanna light that bad boy up. So the reason that we're doing this specifically is the infraspinatus actually refers pain here, it can be back here in the scab, but it also goes down the forearm, um, right into the brachial area that we just talked about, right? And a lot of the time, this will light up, and the rehab, the specific rehab stuff, won't work. So what we do from there, is we start addressing things that can refer pain to those areas. Um, this is something I expect to show up during prep. It happens to virtually everybody, except for the super high arch people who go, that's their ROM, but, um, See the here over there. So the next thing we're gonna move on to is the, uh, we talked about uh, ER flies, right? Two words mashed together, sounds stupid, but I'm gonna show you what it actually is. So we have our lateral fly, traditional, right? Real easy, not too much to focus on. You're abducting, your scap kind of moves, that's totally fine. But you know, I wanna add the uh, external rotation element because your super spinate is here, right? If we're internally rotated, then we, try, oh yeah, then we try to do our um, lateral fly. Sometimes it gets stuck in the hood and just cause all sorts of bullshit pain, right? Um, clicking and pain or clicking with pain, not the greatest. Clicking without pain, totally fine. Um, there was one more point I was gonna make and I forgot what it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add external rotation bloop, to our ER flies. So basically, what that's gonna look like is you're gonna be normal here. So you're actually gonna bend over just a hair. Make sure I don't hit this. This is gonna be lateral raise with the ER, right? 
so together it's going to look like bam. Because you're bent over, your lateral fly ends here. Little ER. Just like that. That's all it is right there. So one rep is going to be. These are reps. Uh, at first, slow and controlled. Uh, you're going to feel the muscles that you want to feel, and you're going to catch a pump real quick because these are not muscles that we use um, in this way quite often, right? In their pure sense. We do a lot of OHP, that's great too, but if you don't have the smaller mechanisms working, the bigger mechanisms are also going to fail. So, those two things for the rotator cuffs. Again, your external rotations. There you go. Grip the thing here if you have to. And then your ER, your ER flies, external rotated flies. It's going to be bent over, right? Bam. Bam, there it is. That's better. 